I founded the Reshoring Initiative in 2010, and we track reshoring done by U.S. companies. I'm going to give you the tools so that you can convince your customers to reshore. I start with TCO, total cost of ownership, uh, which is starts with the FOB price and adds in duty, freight, packaging, carrying cost of inventory, travel cost, intellectual property risk, the risk of stocking out because of long deliveries, 29 different things like this. We call those the hidden costs. So the, the FOB price plus the hidden cost equals the total cost. So the challenge is to get the company, the buyer, to stop looking at just the price, but instead to look at all these costs and all these factors, they'll actually be more profitable if they bring the work back than they will to leave the work offshore. Unionware did a study. He had a bunch of interns from Rutgers University. They used our total cost of ownership system and they compared bags and hats and looked at the total cost as a function of the quantity. If you surface freight the hats in, and, and up to something like a quantity of 500, it was more uh, efficient to make them in the U.S. rather than, than in China. But today, with the problems associated with uh, deliveries, that point where the two curves meet is up around 5,000. So if somebody needs the hats quickly, even up to 3,000, 4,000, it's more economic to buy them here in the U.S. because the huge increases in delivery times and in the freight costs, it's obviously made things very difficult. McKinsey did a study back in November of 2021, and they asked 38 chief procurement officers strongly said they are either nearshoring or reshoring, and 24% of them are reshoring, bringing it back into the, actually into the United States more. So excellent reasons, close to the customer, the sustainability, uh, less greenhouse emissions, more flexibility to meet seasonal demand, reduced overproduction. U.S. retail has $250 billion worth of out-of-stock and overstock costs each year. It's a very large number relative to any price saving that's being achieved. Smaller runs of garments that sell at full price because they don't have to be discounted because you don't have overstocks makes better sense than volume runs of garments purchased at a lower price, but 30 or 40% of them have to be discounted. The product that's made in the U.S. for the U.S. market has less environmental impact than the product that's made far away and shipped to the U.S. market. A piece of that is just the transportation, the larger quantities that are purchased from offshore and then eventually have to be discarded, but also the electricity, especially in China, is dirtier because they use a lot more coal than we do.